Cream Lord is now finished and ready for release. So I do a quick video about Crime Lord. I haven't done one for a while for anybody that's been following the project. Just completed it and I've sent it off to the aggregator for an Amazon Prime so it should be on Amazon within a few weeks and on Vimeo on demand. The last few weeks I really just disappeared from social media just to completely focus on that and getting this finished to complete season one. You know, so that's a whole seven episodes, about 25 minutes each complete. The way that I made it is like, I'm not trying to make something that things look really epic and really big and like the Hollywood version or something with no money. You just fail doing that because if you try and replicate what Hollywood does on no budgets um, just because we've got these tools you'll fail. So I've not been trying to make The Sopranos or a fucking Breaking Bad or I've just been trying to tell my little story about a crime writing criminal and with all its edginess and rawness about it and all its flaws which I like flaws you know like in the 70s films or 70s bands or that when nothing was really perfect um, I kind of like the, the fact that I don't want to be polished. You, you want to reinvent kind of storytelling the way that you make films. You don't want to copy the fucking big boys with no money. That's the way I, I want to do things. But at the same time, you still need a standard. Things need to be done to a standard. They still need to be, you trying. You have to get the sound the best quality you can get. You know, um, that's not an indication of any talent or the thing. It's just, you know, people need to hear the fucking story and stuff like that. So that takes time. So yeah, look, it's uh, season one. Um, if it, you know, the rest of the year, if there's any interest in it and it gets a little bit of following, you know, I'm going to try and grow it bit by bit around Scotland and then try and grow online. If it grows, then there'll be a season two and I think it was the best season three, whatever. But I'm not having any, um, I'm taking it a stage at a time and see. In terms of release date, I don't have a release date yet. Um, I've just gave it the aggregator. Um, and the time they do the work, we in process it, take a few weeks, um, and then I'll get a date back when it's going to be released, which I'll post on Facebook. Um, it's going to be in Vimeo on demand as well, but it won't be in Vimeo on demand until it's also on Amazon. A couple of actors I've been asking about um, clips for the showreels. I won't be giving any clips for showreels until it's released on Amazon. You know, on the same day, that's fine, um, but not until then. You know. You know, I've stayed offline in the last few weeks because I wanted to finish my series, you know, and it takes time to dedicate to that. You know, even doing a vlog every other night would take several hours, you know. Um, but the main reason was I decided that if I'm not going, if I'm going to go back on social media, which you, you have to do if you're a creator these days, if you've got a business, that's just the, the reality of the world. We have to be with our own little media companies now. The whole point for me is to share your own, your own fucking story. You know, your own story about what you're trying to do, your own story about what you try to do with fuck all, starting with nothing, you know. Um, especially now that I've had a child as well, I've got a little boy. For him uh, to maybe see these videos and see podcasts and see how that I never started with a silver spoon in my mouth, I'm starting with fuck all, you know, and really building my way up. So I'm kind of really doing it for him as well, but it's sharing your story to find collaborators and all different people that you connect with and share your process and share that, you, you know, that, that you're, when you're 51 years old, that you're not fucking over. It can just be the start in this new world. So that's the whole point as well. I want to share that. I'm not going to try and be a fucking young YouTuber, wacky fucking YouTuber when I'm not. I'm 51. But there's other people out there that are 51 and older as well. So, you know, if we can all share a process of what we're trying to do. So that's the whole point. If you've got a passion about something, you're really serious about something, it's such a waste of your platform and these tools not to share that passion and what you're trying to do in your ups and downs. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks a lot. Cheers.